Hi, we're Hello. live. Hello, happy Monday. Happy Monday. Is it Monday? It's Monday, November 14th. Okay, the happy. anniversary of Chicago. The anniversary of Chicago. Well, that's a big deal. But, but the also. The opening of Natasha Pierre and the Great oh, yeah. Moment of 1812. And we have a very special guest who is all over our news today. Lonnie Price. Uh, yes, Mr. Lonnie, Lonnie Price, Price, who is here talking about his Merrily We Roll Along document. This is, you know, Merrily is like one of our favorite shows. We love Merrily. We're obsessed. And of course, he's the original Charlie. And he's been putting together this documentary, and we're going to talk about it. We'll get to it. Uh, it's been a labor of love, and it's going to become a labor of, lo labor of love for me, too, when I see it, because I'm obsessed. Like, I can't wait. Actually, I'm so excited. Actually, one of the first things I ever learned about Paul Wintorek. That, that, that I love Marilyn? Is yeah. that true? Yeah, we bonded over that a long time ago. <laughs> well, but I'm we fun. have a lot of news. So, the Evening Standard Awards came out in oh, yeah. London. Well, yeah, speaking close. of Lonnie Price, by the way, he's, he's, he's also the director Sunset of Sunset, Boulevard, the new people. Sunset Boulevard. Yeah, so we've got uh, some news about that. Uh, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child won, of course. Is that an of course? Yeah. I mean, it is pretty brilliant. It is. It's, yeah. it's genius. Yeah. Uh, so that was a lot of... When are we going to get news of that Broadway booking? I don't know. Aren't you guys I, I think all the theater owners are fighting out for, for this, uh, mm -hmm. this show, because it's going to be huge. 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 Anyway, so yeah, it won the Evening Standard. Yes, and um, oh, we have photos from the Merrily We Roll Along, which is called The Best Worst Thing That Ever Could Have Happened. Yeah, which is the lyric. Right? Which is the lyric. Right? Which is the lyric. I'm, I'm singing it in my head. I'm not going to sing it out loud. Thank you. We appreciate uh, that. Mandy Patinkin was there. Another another favorite. Epic. Uh, who else was there? Uh, Stephanie J. Block was there. Mm -hmm. Another SJB, AKB, Andrew Kinnon Bolter, <laughs> Betsy Wolf, Corey Cott, all sorts of people. They had a, a fancy All of our Broadway favorites in one room. Yeah. How yeah. nice was that? And they all want you to go see it, but we're going to talk more about that. We're going to talk more about that. Oh, I've got some good news. A lot of shows are extending. So, Oh Hello on Broadway, hello. on the Broadway, is extending. Oh Hello is oh, extending wait. until January 8th. And Master Harold and the Boys... 15th. It was 15th. supposed to be the 8th. I think it's going to the 15th. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Master Harold and the Boys is extending as well. Speaking of Lonnie Price, he has a connection to that, He's too. He's got a connection to He's that. kind of like the... Um, He's the, the glue. What is that? The Kevin Bacon... like. He's the six anyway. degrees of Lonnie Price. Isn't that true? Isn't that kind of true, Lonnie? Don't you kind of know everyone? Anyway. Yes. I'm going to yeah. say yes. Yes, thank you. Have him go through his phone and see how all the Broadway stars <laughs> in there. Uh, and we have some good news. Waitress and Paramore will be on the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Yeah, a lot of shows. Thanksgiving is all about Broadway on TV. That's all it is. It's that and Turkey. That's I mean, it's all there a lot. is. It's a lot of Broadway That's on TV. That's what we're thankful for. There's a new Broadway I'm, No, play. I'm thankful that you don't have to, like when I was a kid, you had to get up. Yeah, the crack of dawn to it. see it, and I'm thankful you don't PBR. do that anymore. <laughs> That's what I'm um, thankful for. We have for. a new Broadway show coming in the spring. It's what is the it? Play That Goes Wrong. Oh, I've been hearing about this one for years. It's an Olivier winner from London. And there's multiple versions. Isn't there like a Peter Pan version? Yes. There's like different versions of yes. it. Yes. The original West End cast is coming. Oh. They're all making their Broadway debuts, but J.J. Abrams, you know him from oh, yeah. Star Wars, Lost, Westworld. Westworld, yeah, yeah, which had a crazy episode last night. He has joined the producing team. Wow, interesting. So he's okay. He's got some good taste, and he's behind that show. That's kind of out of left That's field. That's gonna play. Right? Know, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, this is like Paul and Tork reacts to the news. <laughs> um, that's going to play the Lyceum. It's beginning performances on March 9th. Where oh, hello it. is now. Right. So it's more laughs for the Lyceum. Opening April 2nd. We have some Sunset Boulevard news. Yes. Yes. Again. Yes. So Glenn Close Speaking is of... reprising her Tony winning role as Norma Desmond. Yes. And, and we get to see a lot of fresh faces. We do. Don't Three we? of her co-stars from London. Yeah, we don't coming. know. We don't know. Their names are um, Michael Xavier. Lonnie I'm knows. pronouncing these No, correctly. we know them. Michael Xavier is Joe Gillis. Okay. Siobhan you know, Dillon. I know something about him. He has two Here, I know a Broadway connection. No, but also, he didn't he replace Aaron Tveit in Assassins? I think so. Per, you mean in London? Joke, yeah, you're Joe Gillis in London. Yeah, he did. No, he did. I did my research. So much yeah. information. Yeah. <laughs> Siobhan Dillon is Betty Schaefer. Did I pronounce that correctly? Thank uh -huh. you. Check. And Fred Johansson as Max von Meerling. Good roles. Yes. Good roles, so all of them. three London people are coming to join Glenn Close. Cool. Directed by Mr. Lonnie Price. Yes. In case you didn't catch that earlier. <laughs> uh, some other things we have on the site today. We had you rank your top ten Chicago favorite In honor Chicago of the anniversary. Songs. Okay. You want to guess? No. No. Okay. Uh, oh, Cell Block Tango. Is it? Yes. Is it number one? Yes. It is? Because it's a great song. It's a great song. Yes. All That Jazz was number two. And When You're Good to Mama was number three. You can look at that on the site. How did class do? Like seven? It didn't make it. Uh, John Kander's new musical with Greg Pierce, Kid Victory at the Vineyard Theater, that was a good segue. has dates. See the time? Did you see what I did there? Yeah. Uh, it starts February 1st and opens February 22nd off Broadway. What's that about? Do we know? 
Sure, I'm sure we John do Kander. know. It's about. It's all about. It's going to be good. It's all about John Kander. Bad news. Ready for the bad news? Santino Fontana's leaving Crazy Ex. Oh yeah, I know what's that Santino, about. Santino, he's probably going to go do something fabulous, like Frozen Two or something. Um, Isn't he? Uh, I think he already did Frozen. Too. I don't know what he's doing. I, hope I mean, he's like when Broadway. you do animated movies, you record them a long time. Like, you know, it takes a long time. Yes. So he could have done that. Yes. What else? We Is that have, it? That, well, we've Beth been and I stuff. had a busy day today. We, we we've went been running did, around. We went and did a video shoot in um, upstate New York. That's right. So we it's just been a crazy. Are we going to say what we did? Should we say it? Should we give our Live at Five viewers some... A sneak peek? Sneak So, everything? yeah, I think we should. So, Ch you know, Chaz Palminteri... Uh, is premiering his Bronx Tale musical, right? right? And you're seeing it. You said you're seeing it this Tomorrow. Week. I saw it at Paper Mill. Loved it. It opens in like a week or two. Anyway, yes. we're doing a special feature with him. And he invited us into his home. And it was lovely. Which is really lovely. We met the dogs. We, we saw we, memorabilia. We it was were like, soaking in the Chaz Palminteri it was like It was like a like a, a, muse a Hollywood museum. And then, oh my God, how about when he said he had all his costumes from all his movies? In a cedar closet. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. It was fun. Um... I'm not going to take any more of your time because Lonnie Price is here. Yeah, I <laughs> you know. remember that, right? The best worst thing that ever could have happened. Okay, thank you, Beth. See you Mr. Guys Lonnie Price, please come in here. We don't have our uh, I'm gonna clap for you. We, have, we, have, we only have like a, we have a fake clapper. We usually have like a fake clapper. <laughs> How you doing, I'm sir? Good, good, Paul. Good to see you. And you? How are you feeling? This is uh, this is an exciting. It's a exciting good time. time. Yeah, yeah, right? it's a great right? time. Yeah, absolutely. It's exciting time. So, um, first of all, let's talk about Sunset because we were just talking about that. Sure. So, uh, how are these new, we don't, these Brits we don't oh, know. Fantastic. It's exciting to, bring, yeah, yeah, to yeah. bring new faces to Broadway. It is, it is, it is. And they're amazing. And, you know, Glenn was very uh, definite about having them join her okay. as I am and uh, was. And uh, I think people are going to be uh, dazzled by them. They're cool. amazing. They're well, totally I'm excited great. you're bringing Sunset Boulevard back yeah. because that's a great score. Mm, and, yeah, sure. And iconic. And you're known for bringing, for doing good work with divas, aren't you? I guess. Yes. You're the George you. Cukor of the musical <laughs> theater, as it turns out. But let's talk about this movie. Yeah, okay. please. Great. So this is, uh, you were in Merrily We Roll Along. You were mm. the original Charlie. That's right. Uh, Franklin Shepard, Inc. on the cast recording. You, you know that You know this guy's uh, take on that and the mm -hmm. whole score. Um, what... How, what, tell us the genesis, the genesis of this documentary. I know you've been working sure. on it for years. Uh, yeah, uh, nine years actually. Nine uh, years. Well, you you actually kind of know. I'm a sort bit of about in, it. yeah, yeah. yeah I'm a little bit. Yeah, we'll get um, to that. Uh, in 2002, we did this uh, reunion concert, yeah. which Broadway. Dot com filmed. For we filmed us. it, and, and, and uh, that was at the... In the docu it was at the LaGuardia High School. Uh, okay, on right. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and it was amazing. Yeah, it was very it was very cool because obviously the show is about the life of the, these characters in twenty five years, and we had known each other for yeah. almost that amount of time. Anyway, I was singing sort of old the song "Old Friends" to Jimmy Walton, who uh, is my old friend, and so it occurred to me we weren't singing our characters' lives anymore; we're singing our own lives. Hmm. And so, wouldn't it be interesting if we were to um, find out what happened to the people in the show? and use uh, Merrily as kind of a reflection, or their lives as a reflection of the show, and the show as a reflection of their lives, mm -hmm. and give the score maybe a different context. And um, so uh, that's kind of the, uh, that's kind of the impetus for it. Cool. And also, I, I, you know, when, you, when I turned 50, you know, how did you get here from there? Starts having some real meaning to look back at your life and decide, you know, what choices led you where. And so um, that was also part of it, which is the show has been living with me for that long. And it's also an interesting cast of people because you were all so young. Oh, my God, yeah. When the show happened. Right, well, Abby Pogelman was 16. Wow. And I was 22. And Jimmy Walton was, I think, 25. And that was the oldest. So it was yeah. 16 to 25. Yeah. Mm. And so uh, it wasn't necessarily even a, a cast full of people who all knew they wanted to be in show business. You know what I mean? They were like yeah, sort of, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, very newbies. And, and yeah. thrust into this huge Broadway musical that failed, mm. obviously, very quickly. But has succeeded since. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, are you kidding? It's your favorite show. <laughs> it's my, it, yeah, it is. Right, right. Well, it is. There you go. Um, I, you have directed a lot of great things on Broadway and off-Broadway and on TV and winning awards. And you're very, very super fancy since Mary. So fancy. <laughs> so fancy. Oh, my God. Um, have you ever directed Merrily? No. In any way? Have you no. ever thought about trying to crack Merrily? That occurred yeah. to me yesterday because it is one of those shows that people want to figure out. Yeah, Directors yeah. Directors want to figure it out. Like, how do you make this? I think it kind of works. Right. I actually think it does work. Yeah. Even the old version. There's yeah. revised versions of it, but sure, I actually sure, sure. think it works. But it is definitely one of those. Yeah. And now there's one starting in L.A., right? That's Michael right. Arden. That's right. Michael Arden's going right. to do it out in L.A. I'm fascinated to see what he does yeah. with it. Um, 
Uh, I think I'm too close to it. Uh -huh. I, I think there are too many ghosts. I think probably it's better for other people to do it okay. than me. Uh, and I think the film is kind of my statement on it. And uh -huh. I think that that's, I think it's probably going to remain so. That that's, that's, that's my take on it. So what's in the film? Tell me, tell me a little bit about um, what, how you approached it and who you knew you wanted to talk to and like what, what happened. Well, well I, I essentially wanted it to be about all of us. And uh, I found the way Helen Steve found in the original production that you have to sort of focus it. Because in the original production, it was all of those people had stories that went mm. through the 25 years. And then eventually in previews, it became too confusing to follow the lives of that many people. Mm -hmm. So they concentrated on four or five or six, maybe. Okay. And so uh, that actually happened in the documentary. I wanted it to be about everybody. And then we realized that, no, it really had to be just about a few people. So it's uh, Jason Alexander, of course, who's mm -hmm. uh, Seinfeld fame. And he did well. He did okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 My, no benefits for Jason. <laughs> uh, Jason and Jimmy Walton and Annie Morrison, Terry Finn. Um, and uh, myself and um, Abby, Abby Pogerman. Uh -huh. But the, the, the tricky part was sort of figuring out like my participation and how much I'd be in it, what yeah. I'd be narrating it and all that. So yeah. uh, it took a, a long time. It took okay. a very long time, yeah. And are you really excited and proud? And I that am. At this point? I am ridiculously proud of it. Uh, it was bad for a really long time. You know, so I, we what didn't... Do you mean? Well, we went through a lot of editors. Okay. And I mean, it's... That's what happens. Nine years things. is a long time. Yeah. Uh, and so for a while it was, you know, not something that I wanted people to see, but you just keep working on it. We had uh, uh, our final editor, Ricky Portno, uh, really cracked it for us. And cool. um, I'm, now I really feel good about it. Um, this is how determined this guy is. I just, I just want to tell him a little bit. Because oh, sure. he's right. We filmed this. That's right. I think I actually was filming a lot of the footage. Like, we filmed the performance because I was so excited at the time. That's right. I begged to please let us come film it. And then we were shooting on these little tapes. That's right. The little mini DV tapes. And then we had just boxes of tapes. And you contacted me and you were like, well, where's the footage? And I was like, I don't know. It's here somewhere. And then you basically, he just like showed up one day. We you went through all the boxes. You showed up with like two assistants and you were like, let's go through those boxes, Paul. And we did. <laughs> and, and, we found, and we found them. And it was labeled the way that... What was it labeled? It was not labeled... At all. The right way. Right. The way that yeah. one could find them. <laughs> I think it was just labeled Steve Sondheim. I think that it was oh, labeled really? Sondheim. And so there were a lot of them labeled Sondheim. But interestingly <laughs> enough, the archival footage that we found in yeah. the movie... You've seen the movie. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, no. my no, God. No, I know. I, I had to go to a wedding last night, and I couldn't go to this... And I couldn't... And that was more important than my film, was it? A wedding, well, Lonnie. They may I not stay see it married, in... you can... and you missed the wedding. Anyway, um... And then my cousin Heidi works at the Emelin Theater, and then she, she told me that... She's like, oh, my God, I saw this great movie last week. I saw this great movie tonight, and I was like, what movie? And it was this movie, and I was like, wait a minute. You I could are have, the last to see it. I could have seen it there, and I, I know, I feel very, I, I, feel like I'm, I feel like I'm being punished for mislabeling the tapes. You, well, maybe. <laughs> we, did, we did look hard for those tapes. Anyway, it has archival footage from a, an abandoned ABC uh, documentary, and that right, was mislabeled. Right. And so, so wait, ABC was filming the original when, the, when you guys were originally were. rehearsing? That's right, that's wow. right. Well, not to rehearse, actually, it was the audition and Stephen Howell's uh, wow, process, okay. and so it had some really amazing stuff. But it was labeled, we couldn't find it for years because we looked under Broadway and Marilyn and Steve and Hal yeah. and the album, th nothing. What and then they went back finally and they typed in B-Way, B apostrophe, B and 37 boxes of film popped up wow. on the database. And um, and it's it was like the holy grail for us. See, so. it takes somebody like you with your... Uh, yeah, I'm very you determined. just kept going, kept going. Yeah, and... dog with a bone. Uh, Alex wants to know, what's it like directing Glenn Close? She was great. Um, the great thing about Glenn... Uh, Did you know her before? No, didn't okay. know her. And in fact, I'm going to uh, collect her uh, or speak for her tonight at the um, Theater Hall of Fame. Oh, cool. Because she's in, being inducted into that tonight. Do you um, have to speak as her? Do you have to pretend like you're her? Yeah, I got the wig. And the, um, <laughs> it's, it's going to be glorious. Uh, the heels are trouble for me, but uh, no, I'll be all right. Uh, the pumps are... Uh, uh, but the great thing was is that she was very willing to approach it freshly. Uh -huh. She didn't want to yeah. do what she did. Right. You know, we had a quick lunch. We had a long lunch, actually. And I said, how married are you to? And she said, not at all. So that made it fun. And yeah. so that was the beginning of a very rewarding process. She's an amazing lady. And she is spectacular in the part, as she was 20 years ago, but in a new way. Cool. So what really, like, so what else do you have going on? Like, what excites you these days? Like, you, you also did Lady Day. You did Lady Day with yeah, Audrey. Yeah, we're supposed, right? yeah, we supposed to do Lady Day in London. Yeah, we're supposed to do it in London in the spring. All right, cool. Um, uh, and uh, I'm doing Carousel for the English National Opera in 
We open oh, in that's April. My, that's my other favorite musical. Oh my god. That's my other one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I open Sunset. I'm gonna come videotape all that too. Oh, excellent. <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna label it better. I think you I think you're better at gathering professional film crews and labeling now. and maybe labeling. And label. <laughs> it's possible. Uh, yeah. So Carousel opens in April, and then I think Audra in the West End in the uh, spring cool. after that. And so that's enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And prepping Sunset right now. And never, uh, never any desire to act. Never. Never. No, no, I shouldn't say, you know, I keep saying never say never, but uh, it's, uh, what it, you know, Rose says, after three husbands, it'll take an awful lot of butter to get you back in the frying yeah. pan. It's going to take an awful lot of butter to get me back in the a frying pan. A lot of butter. Pan. I, 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 I don't it's think The imagery so. of that, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what was the last acting tasteful, job you did? Uh, oh, it was like 10 years. Uh, I, the last real acting job I did was a class act, uh, and we did it in, in uh, Japan after we closed our Oh, right. Day. That's right. And Wasn't so, it filmed there? No. I thought, oh, no, I thought no. it was. And who was your understudy in a class act? Danny Burstein. Danny Burstein. Who went on a lot. He Because I could barely go on. And then I could have killed Danny because I was only doing seven a week because my, my voice kept going. And anyway, then Danny was in the Broadway show league and broke his leg or something. And I was back to eight a week. And I was like, I can't believe. Danny Burstein. Broke his leg at the Broadway show league. I've forgiven him since. I've forgiven him since. He's hard to hold a grudge against. Oh, he's I the best guy, and he's so great in Fiddler. He's so great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you were great in a class act, by the Thank way. You. I love, I love that album too. It's a good album. Good album, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. Check that album. one out. Yeah. You kids, you kids who weren't here yet, check that one out. Yes, in my remote youth, I did a show <laughs> called a Class Act. So, how can people like me who haven't seen it see the movie? It's coming out. You're Friday. delinquent. I it's have coming to say. out Friday. It's, it's coming out Friday. But regular people can go. Yeah, yeah. Well, so what's the, now? I don't care if you see it. What's so the plan? Long. How do you see it? So easy. Uh, we're playing. Uh, it opens Friday, November 18th. Okay. And we're playing at the IFC on Sixth Avenue in Waverly, cool. fantastic theater, and also uh, at the uh, Film Society of Lincoln Center, the Bunin, on 65th Street, right next to. Oh, the, I love that theater. It's a gorgeous theater, yeah. and if people come on Friday night. At the IFC, the first two shows, Miss Bernadette Peters is there introducing and interviewing me. Smell me. The Smell fancy, me. You have so many fancy friends. Uh, you really no do. No idea. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> and now you. <laughs> so uh, it's just in New York for now. Yeah, it opens in L.A. on the 25th. Okay. And we've got bookings in San Francisco and Santa Fe, and we'll see how we do here. Is there like a website people can check yes, out? Yes, uh, and it's uh, Best what Worst Danny. What it's is it? It's a long it? title. <laughs> it's called Best Worst Thing That Ever Could Have Happened. If you know the album, you know, Best Thing That Ever Could Have Happened. No, it's Best Worst, worst thing, thing That Ever Could Have Happened. What is the? What, oh, look at this! I've got my fabulous assistants in and the PR team, and they're going. Oh, 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 oh. Um, it's uh, what? Uh, we'll type it in. Okay, the, we're yeah. failing so we'll badly. Make sure guys. We'll make sure people know. We're we'll, totally failing. Look we'll, at this. Okay, we'll best make sure. Worst thing movie. Best worst thing movie. Yeah. Dot com. Best worst thing movie. Dot com. The producers will kill me, and they're going to kill both of you <laughs> that I did not know it, and they didn't help me. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait. I'm so excited good, because good, this good. is a special, special show. Thank you. And people need to see this show. And right. I can't wait till it's back on Broadway. Uh, me too. Wouldn't that right? be so I mean, That'd be so good. Kinda... And thank you for filming it all those years ago. And for, <laughs> You're welcome. And for losing it and then finding it. <laughs> thank you for right. being a crazy fan. Yeah, yeah, well. Of all of this. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so yeah. happy for you. Thank you. And I'm excited for Sunset and everything. Yeah, it's, it's a good, good time. It's a good time. All right, good. I'm thank lucky. you so much for coming in, Lonnie. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Check out the movie, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow live at 5. Bye. Bye. Bye.